Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for Thursday, March the 7th of 2024. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is our collective energy for all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com, where you can also enter in my wonderful little coupon code I have here for the Mystic March Madness that we have going on up until St. Patrick's day the 17th so i hope you can enjoy that discount and we'll move forward in the energy as long as you are in your positively positiveness cranking up our relentless optimism using the law of attraction the law of divine compensation and our ability to focus with intention to create our best possible lives now as we enter into the energy thank you for the likes and subscribes you know that's how this this internet thing works so here we go We've got the King of Wands and the Magician. The King of Wands is fire sign king energy. This is action and it's established because it's in the masculine. Means it's fully matured. So in this, in not, now don't get confused. I'm not saying all men are fully matured. I'm saying the masculine energy of the universe is fully matured. So that means it's ready to go. You can actually take action with it. And we have the Magician, which is the energy of manifestation and being in the energy of manifestation is the creative source also coming together in the connection to focusing on your best possible life absolutely let's create that so let's see what else we have thank you angels archangels divine pure white light divine spirit we have a three of swords, three days, three weeks, three months, third time's the charm. This is when these three swords are in the right alignment. They will release. They're in a hold pattern right now. And once they release, you can move forward with your whole heart, whether it's for a job or a relationship or something else that you're trying, whatever you're manifesting. This is your timekeeper card. So three of swords, three days, three weeks, three months, third time's the charm. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Sun, Moon and Rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. Very, very nice as our high priestess energy flipped in the deck while I was shuffling. So it volunteered itself right off the bat, and we have our other two cards. The high priestess is the connection to self and source, and it's very much used in the manifestation energy. And our underlier is the three of rods. This is where we have our pillars set where we were doing the work and then now we're ready to move forward and that's solid and we can move forward. And that's how we get across the, the great divide of where we are now and where we want to go. Doing the work and then taking the next step, doing the work, taking the next step. That's how it works. One piece at a time. Once you string that together enough, then you eventually get to where you're where you're in that position to take advantage of what you're trying to create. We have the flexibility card reminding us that just because we think this is going to go in a straight line, sometimes it's zigging and zagging on us. But we have to be OK with moving as the universe moves, because what if this is not a stable place for that pillar? What if the better place is over here and it's more stable? Right. So you just have to be able to be able to to be able to allow able to be able <laughs> you have to be able to allow the energy to uh, help guide you as far as making sure you're on track right and be flexible and don't think it has to be a certain way because the universe always knows better and we just have to be able to listen to it when it happens i am flexible and adaptable to change while i pursue my ambitions this is absolutely imperative because when we're moving forward and creating, it's usually something that doesn't exist. Therefore, we can't really know how it's actually going to come together other than to, to move forward and allow ourselves to be guided. Because, you know, anything is possible, but it's also open to interpretation, right? 
Grounding is important because that's how we find ourselves in a place of power and strength. And we don't feel like we're unsafe. So grounding energy is where we allow ourselves to connect to Mother Gaia. I center and ground myself despite emotional upset around me. Really important to remember, there's stuff that's always popping off somewhere. And if you get involved in, in you know, railing against that, whatever that thing is, put it in quote marks, that thing, is it really in alignment with what you're trying to do? Because if you're spending all your energy unbalanced, then you're really not making good progress going forward with you. So try not to let the things that don't really involve you suck you in because they try. Chaos is, is a magnet for, for uh, energy being drained, right? Oh, well, we'll just flip that over. <laughs> it just flipped right on over. Ask for help from others. This is important because, you know, we are here as a, a mass of, of people. And there's, there's always someone around you who has either experienced something that you're about to or know someone who has. So allow yourself to open to the consideration of all the things that uh, your, your friends might be able to help you with and not try to take the whole thing on yourself. As well as, just because I'm saying others, it doesn't have to be people in this, in this realm. I'm always asking divine for more understanding. So that is a really high energy of angelic frequency. And it truly is you being able to meditate and really connect to source. And that's where you can get your 100% valid information. And there's synergy again. Love it. That's been showing up pretty relentlessly. So we, we like the relentless optimism of the synergy energy. The frequency of synergy supports our allowance and acceptance of not so obvious, never seen before combinations and unions that result in new ways of functioning, working, thinking, relating, loving, and being. It reminds us to embrace the unfamiliar so that new yet exciting co-creations can give birth to a new reality. This is Manifesting 101. Be flexible. Allow yourself to be in a place where you understand that anything's possible and then have enough allowance in your own mindset that you will allow that anything to be possible, right? We don't want to silence it just because we've never seen it before. We want to be open to it. Oh, and we've got Manifestation as our card. Believe in yourself. Trust your instincts and follow your heart, for in doing so, you shall manifest all your heart's desires. The life you have for so long aspired to create will soon manifest. This is the focus of beyond what you can see with your natural eyes. Keep yourself focused no matter what you've got going on. Allow yourself to be able to see that energy and move forward with the creation. Acceptance. There is nothing in your life to fix, only the disowned parts of you that yearn for love and acceptance. You are beautiful just as you are, regardless of any faults you may perceive you have. You are an eternally radiant being of light. Accept all that you are and just be you. When you truly accept yourself, your whole world will magically and lovingly transform. And so it is. Being in the energy of allowance and acceptance is a big deal because we all have things we judge ourselves for. And if you can allow yourself to be okay with not being perfect, you're actually further along than most people. So we've got the high priestess. We've got the, the ingenuity and the commitment going here with this three of wands as we commit ourselves to making each new step and our alignment with higher self. And we go, well, I can't see it yet. It's okay. It's happening in the quantum. It will appear as soon as it becomes whole. But right now, it's just in particle form. So you're having to wait for the universe to work that part out. That's the synergy part. It's just bringing it together in the natural. And you're right there at the edge of the breakthrough with the nine of wands. That's as close as you can be to the breakthrough before it actually happens. So what a beautiful blessing. The breakthrough is, is mere seconds away. So do not quit five minutes before your miracle. Allow yourself to move forward with your own ideas 
and allow yourself to listen to your higher guidance and connect to source because that is where the answers come. I send you lots of love and light, peace, happiness, joy, abundance, and divine prosperity to you all. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste, my friends.